Get ready to mark your calendars for April 8, 2024, because an incredible celestial event is on the horizon. We're in for a treat as we prepare to witness something truly special, a total solar eclipse, a rare occurrence that doesn't happen often. What makes this even more exciting is its timing alongside the 2024 elections, which hold significant importance for both the United States and Israel. Some people are even suggesting that this cosmic event could be a sign of something bigger, perhaps even hinting at the end times. Exploring ancient texts and modern interpretations, we find numerous references connecting celestial events to prophetic stories about the end of days. Throughout history, various cultures and religions have mentioned the sun, moon, stars and eclipses in relation to the final chapters of human existence. For example, Jesus spoke about celestial signs in Luke 21:25, hinting at the approaching end of days, a theme found in many other traditions as well. Considering these ancient prophecies and their lasting impact, it's no wonder that whenever something extraordinary happens in the sky, we're compelled to ponder its significance, wondering if it's all part of a grander plan leading to a dramatic finale. In today's presentation, we're embarking on a journey to uncover the mystery surrounding the upcoming solar eclipse. We'll peel back layers of interpretation to reveal its true significance. I assure you, the discoveries we'll make along the way will captivate you, forever changing how we see the universe and our role in it. Understanding the importance of celestial events like solar or lunar eclipses requires us to look both backward and forward. We'll delve into historical context, biblical teachings, current global events, and astute analysis to determine whether such phenomena are genuine omens or simply part of the unfolding biblical narrative. As Ecclesiastes 1, 9 wisely reminds us, history tends to repeat itself, highlighting the cyclical nature of human affairs. However, amidst this repetition, God's unchanging nature remains a constant, transcending time's fluctuations. Therefore, God's communication, His responses to sin and nations, remains consistent, reflecting patterns seen throughout Scripture. One recurring theme is the consequences of idolatry and how nations are dealt with accordingly, echoing throughout history. Navigating the complexities of interpreting celestial signs and their theological implications prompts us to learn from the past. By recognizing timeless truths woven into existence, we gain insight into the ongoing cosmic drama and our role within it. Throughout the stories recounted in the Bible, we see a fascinating interaction between the words of prophets and the signs that accompany divine interventions. Every prophet tasked with addressing Israel's wrongdoing and idolatry was accompanied by specific signs and warnings, providing insights into future events. When we explore the mysterious imagery of Revelation 6, we encounter the symbolic depiction of the four horsemen, each representing an aspect of God's judgment on nations. If you're interested in the topic of this video, please comment number one. If not, please comment number zero so I can improve future content. The first horseman, symbolizing conquest or leadership, initiates a period of global discord and upheaval, leading to subsequent turmoil. War follows closely, bringing strife and conflict, disrupting the once peaceful order. Then famine strikes, bringing economic distress and agricultural hardships. Finally, death arrives, bringing pestilence and disease, marking the culmination of divine judgment. As these signs of judgment unfold throughout history, they reflect patterns seen repeatedly in Scripture. Time and again, we witness these signs emerging in response to the sins and idolatry of nations, highlighting the cyclical nature of divine intervention. Take, for example, Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian ruler chosen by God to punish Israel and its neighbors. Before the sieges and conquests, the prophet Jeremiah warned of a devastating plague and famine that weakened nations, allowing Babylon to advance. This serves as a stark reminder of the complex interplay between divine will and human actions in the ongoing story of history. In Jeremiah 38 too, we encounter a solemn declaration from the divine, 
outlining the fate awaiting those who stand firm in the face of impending judgment. The message is straightforward. Those who persist in defending the besieged city will meet their demise through sword, famine and disease, while those who choose to surrender to the king of Babylon will be spared, receiving the gift of life amidst the looming catastrophe. Jumping ahead to recent years, especially the turbulent period that began in 2020, we are confronted with a series of events bearing striking resemblance to ancient biblical warnings. From the global pandemic echoing the plague prophesied in Revelation to the specter of famine and economic hardship gripping nations worldwide, from widespread civil unrest and discord seen in protests and demonstrations to the unsettling murmurs of international conflict, particularly with Russia, the signs are clear. These occurrences have not only impacted America, but have cast their shadow over the entire world, reminding us of the prevalent sin and idolatry gripping nations and the subsequent divine judgment that follows. However, amidst these ominous signs, it's essential to approach the interpretation of these events as potential indicators of the end times with caution. While the parallels are evident and the promise of mercy feels imminent, pinpointing the exact moment of eschatological fulfillment remains a challenging endeavor. However, what these signs unmistakably indicate are significant changes looming ahead, urging us to reflect and search our souls on a global scale. Furthermore, if these events are indeed seen as divine judgments, it's logical to assume there were prior warnings or indications. After all, God, in His boundless wisdom, doesn't act without first revealing His intentions to His prophets. Therefore, as we navigate through these uncertain times, let's stay alert, paying heed to lessons from the past and tuning our hearts to divine guidance. That's where we'll find the key to deciphering the unfolding drama of human history. When we delve into the intricate world of prophetic symbolism, we uncover an intriguing connection between celestial bodies and their allegorical meanings. For instance, did you know that in biblical prophecy, the moon often symbolizes Israel, while the sun represents the Gentile nations? It's fascinating stuff, as the depths of this symbolism are both profound and enlightening. Going back to the Genesis story, we gain insights into how creation was divinely orchestrated. On the fourth day, the sun, moon and stars were brought into existence, casting their radiant light upon the earth. What's remarkable here is that light itself had already filled the cosmos on the preceding day, enveloping the earth in its luminous glow. It's quite fascinating to consider. The appearance of vegetation on the third day, relying on sunlight and rain for sustenance, happening before the creation of the very source of that light on the following day. How do we make sense of this seeming chronological oddity? Well, it actually reveals something profound about the crucial role the sun and the moon play in nurturing Earth's climate and ecosystems. Their presence dictates the ebb and flow of ocean currents, the patterns of weather, and ultimately, the distribution of life-giving rain across the land. In the ancient narrative, rain was a rarity, as we see in the Genesis story, where shrubs and plants didn't appear until divine intervention brought forth streams from the earth to water the dry soil. Genesis 2 5, 6 gives us a glimpse into this early world where rain was scarce, and the earth relied on underground springs to quench its thirst an eloquent testament to the intricate dance of divine providence. As we unravel the layers of symbolism woven into the story of creation, we're reminded of the deep connection between the celestial and terrestrial realms, each playing a vital part in the grand symphony of existence. The seemingly puzzling sequence of events in Genesis, where plants emerge before the creation of the sun, moon, or even rain, invites us to contemplate the depths of divine wisdom and the harmonious balance of creation. This unfolding of events isn't random. It carries purpose and precision when examined closely. It reveals a deeper understanding of the multifaceted roles of the celestial bodies. Genesis 1.14 19 sheds light on this divine design, showing that the sun, 
moon and stars were created not just to light up the sky, but also to serve as celestial timekeepers, marking the passage of day and night and guiding the sacred rhythms of time, including festivals and seasons. These cosmic markers, infused with divine significance, gain even more importance in the realm of biblical prophecy, particularly as they hint at the unfolding drama of the last days. Joel 2.30 31 paints a vivid picture of celestial marvels, where the dimming of the sun and the reddening of the moon signal the approaching arrival of the formidable and awe-inspiring day of the Lord. In this prophetic imagery, the sun's dimming represents looming unrest, while the moon's reddening invokes thoughts of conflict and divine judgment. Additionally, the imagery of smoke and fire brings to mind catastrophic events like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, acting as forewarnings of imminent tribulation. Thus, in the grand design crafted by the Creator, the sun and the moon transcend their mere roles as physical luminaries, taking on sacred importance as celestial timekeepers and messengers of divine intervention. Through their cyclic journey across the skies, they bear witness to the unfolding story of human history, marking the appointed times and seasons set by the Almighty. As we navigate the intricate paths of prophecy, let's pay attention to the signs in the heavens and decipher their deeper meanings as they hold the key to unraveling the mysteries of the ages. Throughout history, Celestial events have often served as poignant reminders of the prophetic words spoken by Jesus himself. Indeed, the great teacher foretold various upheavals, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, wars and other disruptions that would precede significant events on the horizon. But did you know that even more fascinating connections lie in recent astronomical events, particularly the Blood Moon Tetrad from 2014 to 2015, which held special significance for Israel? If you're interested in this topic, please leave a comment with the number 2. If not, please comment with 0 so I can create content that better suits your interests. During this remarkable era, the heavens orchestrated a sequence of four total lunar eclipses, famously known as blood moons, happening in quick succession. What made these celestial phenomena stand out was their precise alignment with four major Jewish festivals, leading to what was termed the blood moon tetrad. However, despite the clear synchronicity between these astronomical occurrences and the sacred calendar of Israel, many find it challenging to unravel the true significance of this celestial phenomenon, leaving its ultimate meaning cloaked in mystery. Let's delve into the realm of symbolism, where the number four holds deep meaning as a testament to the universal authority of God's Word. In this intricate tapestry of celestial symbolism, the moon emerges as a powerful symbol of divine protection and watchfulness over the nation and people of Israel. The crimson tint of the eclipsed moon, traditionally interpreted as a sign of impending bloodshed and divine judgment, added gravity to the unfolding narrative. Over the course of two years, symbolically echoing the biblical theme of division, the looming possibility of the division of the land of Israel served as a stark reminder to heed the whispers of providence. Therefore, as we contemplate the celestial spectacle witnessed during those significant years, we're encouraged to look beyond the celestial veil, to discern the deeper currents of divine purpose woven into the fabric of creation. For hidden within the celestial dance lies wisdom, waiting for those with receptive eyes and ears to perceive the symphony of prophecy unfolding through the ages. In Joel 3.12, a crucial event is prophesied, signaling the beginning of the seven-year tribulation period and the judgment of nations. This prophecy vividly describes God summoning all nations to the Valley of Jehoshaphat for judgment particularly for their mistreatment of Israel, including Sidon and Tyre. The inclusion of Sidon and Tyre in this divine reckoning is especially notable given their historical significance. Sidon and Tyre were regions inhabited by the Phoenicians, famed for their expertise in commerce and maritime trade. In Ezekiel 28, the king of Tyre is depicted with traits reminiscent of the Antichrist. 
Following the Greek and Roman conquests of Tyre and Sidon, it's speculated that the Phoenician population may have dispersed, with some migrating to places like Greece and Rome. Their influence is evident in history, notably seen in their naming of the entire European continent after Europa, the daughter of the renowned Phoenician king of Tyre. Today, the legacy of ancient Sidon and Tyre echoes in modern geopolitical entities such as the European Union, the United Nations, and even America. These nations and alliances are believed to have ties to the ancient Phoenician territories, potentially playing a role in fulfilling biblical prophecy. It's within the scope of these modern entities that the stage is set for prophesied events, including the negotiation and endorsement of the Seven-Year Peace Treaty, a pivotal moment in the eschatological narrative, eventually confirmed by the Antichrist. If you're interested in this topic, please comment with the number three. If not, please leave a comment with zero so I can create content that better suits your interests. Understanding the significance of these historical and geopolitical connections is crucial as they provide profound insights into the unfolding of prophetic events and their implications for the future. As we navigate the complexities of our era, let's take heed of the warnings and revelations found within Scripture, discerning the signs of the times and preparing our hearts for what lies ahead. In the year 2017, America witnessed two extraordinary celestial events that sparked profound speculation and fascination. The first occurred on August 21, 2017, when the nation experienced the breathtaking Great American Solar Eclipse, a rare phenomenon that captured the attention of observers spanning from coast to coast. However, it's essential to understand that the significance of such an eclipse goes beyond mere astronomical marvel. Instead, its importance lies in its alignment with broader biblical and Israelite contexts. Just a month later, on September 23, 2017, the heavens presented another remarkable sight, the alignment of stars and constellations known as the Sign of Revelation 12. On this momentous date, the constellations of Virgo and Leo, accompanied by Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, the Sun and the Moon, converged in a celestial dance reminiscent of the vivid imagery described in the pages of Revelation 12. Did you know that such a precise alignment has occurred only twice in recorded history? But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Let's fast forward to the upcoming 2024 eclipse. The stage is set for a cosmic encore featuring these very constellations. The celestial ballet of Virgo and Leo, along with their planetary companions, is poised to once again capture the imagination and curiosity of observers worldwide. It's a cosmic symphony whose resonance echoes through time and space, inviting us to contemplate the mysteries of the universe and our role within it. As we witness these celestial wonders, let's stay vigilant, tuned in to the signs and marvels unfolding in the heavens above. For within their ethereal beauty lies a deeper truth, one that transcends the bounds of time and prophecy, urging us to ponder the magnificence and grandeur of creation itself. If you're interested in the subject matter covered in this video, please leave a comment with the number four. If not, feel free to comment with zero, so I can tailor future content to better suit your preferences. The prophetic messages embedded within Revelation 12 act as a solemn reminder of the looming conflict between the forces of darkness represented by the Antichrist or the Beast and the steadfast saints. Additionally, it predicts the resurgence of Israel as a nation, particularly in Jerusalem, which becomes a focal point for geopolitical tensions. When these signs are considered together, they serve as a powerful cautionary tale, especially for nations like the United States, regarding their stance towards Israel and the potential consequences of territorial divisions. Let's shift our focus to the stage of geopolitical maneuvering, where recent events have unfolded in a manner strikingly reminiscent of biblical prophecy. From August 2017 to January 28, 2020, 
President Donald Trump's introduction of the Peace to Prosperity Plan echoed the themes of division outlined in Revelation 12, proposing a two-state solution. This plan involved allocating a significant portion of Israel's land, including the eastern half of Jerusalem, to the Palestinians, a move laden with historical significance given the ancient animosity between the Philistines and Israel. However, as the details of the proposed deal were finalized, the world found itself thrust into a whirlwind of unprecedented challenges. The onset of the pandemic in early 2020 brought about widespread devastation, affecting continents and sending economies into turmoil. This was swiftly followed by economic hardships, social unrest and escalating conflicts, including tensions with Russia, further destabilizing the global landscape. What's truly striking, however, is the unexpected reversal of the anticipated signs heralded by the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Rather than unfolding in the predicted sequence, these events occurred in reverse order, surprising observers and prompting deeper reflection on the progression of prophetic narratives. Furthermore, following these tumultuous events, we've witnessed the emergence of new alliances reminiscent of the biblical Gog and Magog particularly evident in the alignment of oil-rich nations within OPEC with the burgeoning BRICS alliances led by China. These coalitions present a significant challenge to the dominance of the American dollar in global trade, exacerbating inflationary pressures and casting uncertainty over the stability of the US banking system. As we navigate these turbulent times, let's take heed of the lessons found within the pages of prophecy, discerning the signs of the times and preparing ourselves for the challenges ahead. In the midst of uncertainty, it's through unwavering faith and vigilant watchfulness that we discover comfort and hope for the future. If you're intrigued by the topic of this video, please leave a comment with the number 5. If not, please comment with zero to help me tailor future content to better suit your interests. Remarkably, all these unfolding events align uncannily with biblical prophecies concerning the destiny of Israel in the tumultuous era preceding the end times. Looking ahead to April 8, 2024, exactly seven years after the pivotal solar eclipse of August 2017, another celestial phenomenon is poised to grace the skies a solar eclipse of profound significance. Unlike its predecessor, this eclipse will predominantly cast its shadow over the eastern half of the United States, tracing a notable X-shaped path across the nation. But there's more to this cosmic spectacle than meets the eye. Coinciding with the alignment of the constellation Leo, representing Judah and Jerusalem, this eclipse carries symbolic resonance reminiscent of biblical imagery. Leo, linked with the majestic Lion of Judah, a symbol of Jesus Christ, serves as a potent representation of divine sovereignty and redemption. So, what significance do these celestial signs hold within the context of biblical prophecy? The number seven, often representing completion and fulfillment, points to the conclusion of Israel's 70 weeks of judgment, a sequence marked by cycles of seven years. Rather than merely foreshadowing future events, this eclipse acts as a reflective surface, echoing past occurrences intertwined with future destinies. The X-shaped path traced by the eclipse carries deep meaning, resembling the Hebrew letter Tav, symbolizing a mark or seal. This letter, sparingly mentioned in scripture, evokes the seal of protection granted to those who mourned for the sins of the first Jewish temple, as described in Ezekiel chapter 9. Additionally, it recalls the marking of doorposts during the inaugural Passover in Exodus, a precursor to the mark of the beast and the seal of protection over the 144,000 witnesses during the impending tribulation period. Thus, the Tav mark imprinted across the United States symbolizes a dual aspect of divine providence, protection and judgment, particularly in the context of Israel's territorial integrity. As the prophetic clock continues its relentless march forward, these celestial signs serve as poignant reminders of the intertwined fates of nations and the unfolding narrative of human history. 
If you found this discussion enlightening, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, show your support with a thumbs up, and share this message widely with your loved ones. Your active participation is crucial in expanding our reach and ensuring the continuation of content that resonates with you. Don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Subscribe now, demonstrate your support, and help spread the word. Thank you for your viewership and unwavering backing.